What's going on YouTube? Turn the life here one more time, guys. Hey, your boy from the um, your boy from the blind side guy over here. I know I ain't did a video of blind side in a while, so gotta make a little U-turn right here. So they gave my spot over here, and I thought I'd do a little scenario blind side. And I ain't blind side if three foot in a minute, man. But you know, I'm gonna give it a whirl, guys. We we'll see how it go, man. And uh, again, this is this is just a regular video, guys. In case some guys wanna know how to do this. Last time, I don't tell anybody, man, learn how to back both ways. It'll, you know, it'll help you out in the long run. Anyway, I'm gonna try to go over here right now. And I'm trying to go over here right now and try to find my spot. And find my spot. Stop saying try. Look for my spot, man, and blindside in. If it's open, I don't even know if it's gonna be open. You know, they know for giving you spots over here and you're spotting nowhere. Hold on. Pull up, pull out that way, and then just kind of get my 90. Once I get to a certain point right here, where my truck is kind of like this, I'm gonna lean and look in my wind, my, my side window right there, and um, take a peek out there on that blind side because you can't really see on this side, guys. And then what, I'm, what I plan on doing is I have my some of my trailer tandems kind of hit this line out there somewhere. I'm gonna start just jackknifing and pivoting around so it just kind of just curve around. It's gonna walk like this. But you gotta be out far enough so your overhang don't catch that trailer right there. You'll get around this one. You'll get around this one, but trying to get around, but trying to watch your overhang from hitting this one right here, what well, you gotta be careful of. And right here, I can slide my tandems forward, me back all the way, and back up. I don't have no overhang, but I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna go ahead and see. I'm just gonna go ahead and throw it in there, man. And I'm going between the trailers right here so that you guys a reference point, man, of what you gotta go in between. Uh, Sometimes. Now, see the overhang, overhang I got? I got about a good eight feet of overhang right here. So you gotta watch out for this when it's turning. Even when you side side in, you gotta be careful with this overhang right here. It'll still uh, catch something like if it's a truck or trailer, truck on the side, mirror, anything. So, all right guys, let's get this on. Now from right here, you guys can see that if I go straight back on the angle, I'll be right in front of the other JB Hunt where I gotta go. It's just in front of my truck right here. Straight back. Once my tires hit like by, right by this line right here, once these top, once my tandems hit right here, like right about, I'm gonna be so far out where I can kind of curve around. Remember you got about eight, 10 feet, so you gotta be at least eight, 10 feet from that. But like right here, once my trailer hit like right, like I say like right, right here, I'm gonna stop pivoting. And I'm just gonna, if my calculation is right, it should just pivot like, like around like this. I should be more closer to this side than that side. Once it gets a certain angle, then I'll be able to pull in. All right guys, here we go. Right here, I'm a little closer than I wanted to be. Actually, I wanted to go back a little bit and pivot around this trailer right here a little bit more, but I came in a little too close. But even from right here, I can still catch it. See, look how I am right now. Look at my positioning. Trailer right here. 
right here. Now what I could do right now to catch this is I could turn my wheel to the right, catch it up a little bit, push it back a little bit more, then jack it the knife again so it'll curve around this trailer right here. See right here? So turn my wheel to the right, curve around some more, kind of catch up the trailer a little bit, push it back a little bit more, and then turn it back to the left to kind of get it to pivot around this, this, uh, this trailer right here. Now mind you, you can't really see right now. I can't really see over here from over there. So what I did, I leaned and looked when I was over there. Now guys, this is for educational purpose only. Do it at your own risk. I ain't saying you do this. I'm just saying, if you want to try it, this is how you do it. You see, I got more room on this side. You always want more room on the side that you can't see than the side you can't see. Well, it was a, it's a blind side, so I can't see on that side either. But I'd rather have more room on this side that I know I can't see from over here because of my tractor positioning versus the other side over there, which is right by the trailer. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna push it back, turn my wheel to the right, catch up with it a little bit more, push it back some more, push it back a little bit more, just a, just a, probably back another mm, two, three feet. Let's push it back and then as soon as this like this bar clear this this line right here. I'm gonna start turning it back. Now I ain't gonna be able to see it from me. I'm gonna have to assume from me doing it so long. You'll get the feel once you do it for a while, guys. So now I can just turn my steering wheel to the right, to the right, catch up with it a little bit. You can see that my position is a little different. I decided, you guys see, I pulled up, decided to get a better position. I want to reset the whole thing, period, but I want to come out a little wider, but I decided not to. So now this is my position right here. This is the blind side, guys. See, I got more room on this side. See? Now with a couple things I could do here, which I might do, I don't know yet. What I could do is I could just try to Go forward, probably like a foot or two to the left. They turn my wheel to the right and come back a little bit to catch the trailer up a little bit just to clear this. You know, from right here, I should be able to clear this trailer from right there. Cause it takes 10 feet for a trailer to change direction, guys, on these size tires. So either way I go, I should be able to catch it. But in case I don't, you know what guys, I think I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go ahead and go for it. You know what, hold on. Cause I got more room over here. So I might just turn my wheel to the left, go forward a little bit. And then that'll kind of give me in a more of a straight position. And I can kind of see that trade over here on my mirror and make the adjustments. See, that's what I'm gonna do. I ain't doing no one shot kill, one shot one kill on this, guys. I wanna show you guys the steps of how you do it. So, for the turn my wheel to the left, me to the, yeah, I'm gonna turn my wheel to the left, go forward a little bit. It's called a four by four, guys. When you move it four feet, four feet, four feet, four feet. But I ain't gonna use the whole four, it's, be more, it's more of a four by two. So I'm gonna go turn left, go forward a little bit, about four feet. And then turn to the right and go back about four feet. I should be straight with my trailer right here. Once I get straight, I can use my mirror then and see this and wiggle it around this trailer right here. All right, guys. So after working it in for a minute, this is where I'm at right now, guys. See, I'm still counting to the left a little bit. Wheel to the right, rather on the blind side. And right now I could just catch up, turn my wheel to the right, catch up with it and go straight back, guys. I showed all them steps, guys, for one, come a little rusty, I ain't back to fit three, I ain't blast out of fit three in a while. And for two, I want to show you guys also two of the steps, because I could have left it out the video, was because I want to show you guys in case you gotta work yourself in. I got plenty of room out here, so why not work it?
right, guys. That's it, guys. That's in there. So, I want to do one shot, one kill, guys, but the people walking around, uh, there's some guys walking this way, guys. I ain't trying to block them up no more. I could have moved over a little bit more, guys, but that left it like it did. Skip it. It's in the lane. So, I could have moved over a little bit more on this side, but I'll be all right. Anyway, all right, YouTube. Hope this video was helpful. Give you a little understanding of what's going around here. And I'll see you guys in the video. Peace.